Welcome to Electron Line. Our next example involves the sliding ladder. Here we have a ladder that's 10 feet long. It is leaning up against the wall and it's sliding like this. We can see that the bottom here is moving away from the wall at 2 feet per second. It's currently 6 feet away from the wall and we're trying to figure out how fast the top part of the ladder is sliding downward. How do we do that? Well, we're trying to find dy dt and we're given dx dt. So we need to find some relationship between x and y. And since this is a right triangle right here, we can use Pythagorean theorem and we can say that x squared plus y squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is 10. So 10 squared is equal to 100. So x squared plus y squared is equal to 100. If we now take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to time, we'll then find dx dt and dy dt in the same equation. So we're going to take the derivative with respect to time of both sides of the equation. So the ddt of the left side should equal the ddt of the right side. On the left side, we take the derivative of this, we get 2x to the first power times the derivative of x with respect to time, which is dx dt. Plus, same with y squared, we get 2y to the first power times the derivative of y with respect to t, which is dy dt. And that equals 0 because the derivative of a constant, of course, is always 0. Now we're going to take this equation and solve it for dy dt because that's what we're looking for. But first of all, we can see right away we can divide both sides of the equation by 2, so the 2's disappear because 0 divided by 2 is still 0. And then if we solve this equation for dy dt, we move x dx dt across, we get y times dy dt is equal to the negative x times dx dt. And then if we divide both sides by y, we get dy dt is equal to minus x over y times dx dt. Which means to find the value of dy dt, we can do so when we're given the value for x, the value for y, and the value for dx dt. Now dx dt we know. We're given the value for x, but we don't know the value for y yet. So we have to solve for that. And again, we use Pythagorean theorem. We can solve this equation for y. So we come up here. We can say that y squared is equal to 100 minus x squared, or y is equal to the square root of 100 minus x squared. Now we're given x to be 6 feet, so that makes it relatively easy. This is equal to the square root of 100 minus 6 squared, which is equal to the square root of 100 minus 36, which is the square root of 64, which is equal to 8. So now we have the value for x, we have the value for y, we have the value for dx dt. So in this case, dy dt becomes minus x, which is 6, divided by y, which is 8, times dx dt, which is given as 2 feet per second. So 2 divided by 8 is 1 divided by 4, 6 divided by 4 is minus 1.5 feet per second. Now the minus, of course, tells us that it's in a downward direction, and indeed, as the ladder is sliding, the top here goes downward, that's where the negative comes from, and as the bottom is sliding out at 2 feet per second, the top is sliding down at 1.5 feet per second downward. And that's how it's done.